guys, Joey with Tactical Response here. Thanks for watching. What I have for you today is the Excess Sights Rear Sight Pusher Tool from their DIYer series. Uh, <laughs> Excess has been a friend of the company for a long time, you know, back when James was just preaching the gospel of big dots. And they had they sent us sent these our way. Uh, I believe we got to I don't know if we got hands on at NRA or something like that, but at the very least they talked to us about this at NRA. So I was excited for this to come in and get some hands on with it. So what comes in the box? Of course, we have our our tool here, you know, uh, made in the USA, of course, uh, over there in Texas. Um, good, good people over there. Uh, some people care about this, but right here, this is why we <laughs> support excess so much right on the box. Our mission is to empower the good guy to be more prepared, confident, and self-reliant with functional weapon upgrades. These are, this is, they, this stuff matters to them. And so my favorite part though is on the inside. If you guys can read that, or did I turn it upside down? If you guys can read that, remember, if you have broken out the rotary tool, you have gone too far. <laughs> Stop and give us a call. So uh, I know, I know James had some some horror stories of, of Tim busting out the Dremel tool and stuff like that, right? So anyway, so what else? Uh, whenever you purchase this, you get to choose between orange or green. It looks like we've got green here of their R3, R3D sites so you know how we feel about big dots but i am actually pretty excited about these i don't have a lot of experience with notch and post sites the first time i shot notch and post were actually xs f8s and it was at the gun site class i believe <laughs> i believe we have a video where james or in, was interviewing us who took the class and we talk a bit about it but yeah first first drill of the class i was like oh shit <laughs> like i can't just put the thing on the thing and press the thing so um, next up, we have our, of course, you got your, your thread locker oil. And in this case, we have our front sight tools in here are uh, aluminum or aluminum. And they are supposed to be steel, but they were not able to get the, uh, the stuff they needed in time. So they sent these out with the aluminum ones, but they're supposed to have the steel ones available in January of 2023. And do not be discouraged to buy this now if you're interested in it because if you get one with the aluminum sites uh, at least in this box they sent a code for uh you know talking about that what i just said um the supply chain issues and stuff like that with a with a code for free steel front sight tool so you'll you'll get to replace it uh but you want you do want the steel because when you come when it comes to using this uh aluminum stuff if you're changing the front sight out and it's already loctited in i mean you you're going to struggle to to use the aluminum kind so absolutely want the steel let's see next up we have uh their locking wedge and of course the wrench and instructions right so anyway <laughs> how smooth was the process uh very very smooth uh super simple i don't know how they could have made it much more simple um it went i mean super quick uh, so anyway, I can't can't do it on YouTube, but the general idea, uh, but we will actually, re rewind, we will actually have a video go on Liberty TV. I don't know if it's going to be released at the same time, but I will actually do an installation install video uh, because I have some other ideas when it comes to, to these sites that they sent our way, right? So anyway, simple, pretty simple to use. Site, you know, you press the slide right up against there, locking wedge, locks it in place. So... So super simple, you know, uh, and then yeah, just push that wherever you want it. When you have the sights visually lined up, the way you can confirm is, let me get this set up using that top camera, these hash marks that are on here, you know, you just push the brass up against it and whichever hash mark it's on, uh, check that white line, whichever one lines up with those white lines. Take the slide, flip it around to check the other side, and just make sure they're they're centered on the the white line lines up with the same hash mark on both sides. Super simple. Um, again, I did it very very quickly, and they even in the instructions have uh, for like if you're only trying to turn it a half half a hash mark, right? Three quarters three quarter turn of the wrench, and so on and so forth. So, again, a friend of the company for a long time. Uh, if you want to support 
a, a company of people who train, you know, a, our people. Uh, you Excess Sites is the way to go. American company. They do everything here. Um, great, great people over there. I'm excited to to get these sites installed and uh, and play around with them a bit. But that's about all I have for. Oh, uh, before I forget, at the time of this video, uh, they are still on sale. I believe they are going for $199.99. Normally, they are $249.99. So it looks like they still have that $50, uh, $50 off uh, sale going. So at the time of this video, that's still still happening. Uh, so check it out. See if you can get it for, for, for a deal. <laughs> If not, it's still absolutely worth worth the worth the price of having this. You know, I've got something similar in my range bag uh, from a different company, um, but I haven't had a reason to use it yet. So this is either going to replace it, or I'll just put them both in there. Right, two is one, one is none, and uh, the other one can be my backup rear sight pusher. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Remember, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.